Hola, hola, Claudia Denine here. Today we're discussing the world's most recognizable fashion doll, Barbie. We all know this gal has been the center of the spotlight for decades and isn't short of controversy or complaints. And while we know many of you have requested we discuss some of these shortcomings, we'll have to save it for the next video. Because today we're focusing on five Barbies that celebrate people of color and represent minorities to spotlight the importance of inclusivity in dolls. Before we get started, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, turn on notifications and subscribe so you never miss the tea on the toys you love. Now, let's dive in. Number one, Lunar New Year Barbie of 2021. As someone who is half Chinese, I'm always drawn to Asian representation in dolls. This year, Barbie released the Lunar New Year doll in celebration of the Spring Festival, beginning today. When these beautiful promo images leaked of her, I knew I had to own this Barbie, and I'm incredibly grateful Mattel has granted me the opportunity to share her with all of you. Some context about Chinese New Year, also known as the Spring Festival or Lunar New Year, is that in China, it's a 15-day celebration that follows the lunar calendar. Lunar New Year is observed in several other Asian countries, so when we refer to Lunar New Year as Chinese New Year, it's because we're following the traditions of China. The origins of Lunar New Year vary based on who you asked, but the legend I learned when I was young is that long ago, the Jade Emperor held a race and the first 12 animals to reach his palace would have a year named after them in their honor. 2021 is represented by the ox. You'll notice that this year's Barbie sports a red chi pao adorned with peones to symbolize beauty and opulence. This style of dress is one of, if not the most traditional dress for Chinese women. Red symbolizes good fortune and joy, and it's considered a lucky color that can ward off evil. You'll notice the color red is emphasized during the spring festival to bring good luck. This Barbie, designed by Joyce Chen, is sophisticated, sleek, and classic, and it makes me happy to know Mattel chose an Asian designer to create this doll. Having people of color as part of the internal team is incredibly important in creating meaningful change, I feel. If you'd like to purchase her for your collection, I've left the link to buy her down below. And for all you celebrating, gong si fat tai. Number two, So In Style. Released in 2009, So In Style was a line of dolls by Barbie created by Stacey McBride Irby. But did you know Barbie had a lesser known doll line in the 90s similar to So In Style? We'll discuss her in a bit. McBride Irby says she created the line after watching her daughter, stating, I believe that a happy inspired childhood creates happy inspired powerful women. I want my new So In Style dolls to not only be an authentic representation of my community and culture, but to also encourage girls to be inspired and dream big. Beginning with the characters Grace, Trishel, and Kara, the doll's hair used aqua curl technology, a technique which was fairly new at the time that allowed girls to style, curl, and straighten the doll's hair with water and styling tools. On December 13th, my girl Nina, aka Chocolate Dolly on Instagram, interviews Stacy and discuss the iconic doll line, which you can check out using the link in the description. She's rarely, if ever, talked about, but before Grace from the Sew and Style line, Barbie released a line of dolls named Shawnee in the 90s. She had her own unique head mold and group of friends in a line known as the Marvelous World of Shawnee. She had a boyfriend named Jamal and friends Nichelle and Asha, which also had their own dolls. Number three, Becky. She's been subject to controversy, but as the child to disabled parents, I don't feel like dolls representing disabled people are talked about nearly enough. Back in 1997, Mattel released Becky, Barbie's photographer friend who came with a wheelchair. Mattel worked with Toys R us and the National Parent Network on Disabilities to develop Becky. She was made exclusively to Toys R Us and sold out nationally within two weeks. Mattel couldn't even keep up with the demand. Now in 2020, Barbie has reintroduced several Barbie dolls, including a wheelchair, as well as prosthetic limbs that better reflect the world around us. We'll discuss those dolls later, so keep on watching. Number four, Ibtihaj Muhammad. Back in 2018, Barbie released a black label collector of Ibtihaj Muhammad. This marked the first ever Barbie Barbie to wear a hijab. She's also placed on the curvy Barbie body. Some background on Muhammad's beautifully crafted doll as per her bio. Muhammad's parents sought a sport that would allow her daughter to fulfill her competitive nature and be fully covered in accordance with her faith. And they discovered fencing. Ibtihaj excelled at her sport, competing as a saber fencer on the US fencing team. She became the first female Muslim American fencing champion to wear a hijab. As a brilliant athlete, entrepreneur, and inspiration to girls who never saw themselves 
themselves represented, Ibtihaj is not only celebrated for her accolades, but for embracing what made her stand out. Ibtihaj is honored as the Barbie Shiro, a woman who has broken boundaries to inspire the next generation of girls. Girls need more role models like Ibtihaj because imagining they can be anything is just the beginning. Actually seeing that they can make all the difference. Number five, Barbie Fashionista. I might get some backlash for this one, but I wholeheartedly believe Barbie Fashionista is the most diverse line of dolls to ever exist. Created in 2016 and beginning with three different body types, the Barbie Fashionista lineup has hundreds of dolls varying in gender, color, hair texture, abilities, body types, eye colors, eye shapes, the list goes on. I believe Barbie Fashionista's diversity and inclusion should be the standard of what dolls look like moving forward. Mattel has undeniably created a lineup of dolls almost anyone can resonate with or see themselves in. While I myself am Asian, I believe it's important that all people feel represented by the toys they play with. And I hope to see Mattel continue the path of creating dolls that represent the world around us while simultaneously including quality improvement we all desire. I know we only covered five dolls and there's so many different cultures and backgrounds backgrounds that need to be represented. Let us know down below what you'd like to see more of for the future of dolls. If you enjoyed today's video, you'll love all my other videos discussing all the doll tea, which you can check out in the description below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, turn on notifications, and subscribe. As always, thanks for watching. See ya!